with the first year, obviously you as a head coach, but how was the relationship coming from your, your former team that you played for for a couple of years to now helping the future of that team and bringing up some of their talent and being their, their affiliate? How was that relationship between Oklahoma City and Sporting? Well, I think it worked out outstanding. Uh, unfortunately, we were in that situation that Kansas City got a lot of injuries this year. And the guys we had down, they got settled here. They played some very good games. And unfortunately for us, good for them, they got called back and, and got some good MLS experience. And uh, I think uh, Kansas City were very pleased with the minutes they got down here. They came back to, to Kansas City and were very sharp. Uh, John Kempick came back and played some good games. Uh, Mikey Lopez came back and played some good games. Kevin Ellis became a regular starter for, for Kansas City. So it was a good experience for those guys. Jim Madranda came and, and played a lot of good minutes. Christian Duke is knocking on the door to, to the first team. You know, I think it was a win-win situation for, for both. Those players that are Sporting KC um, affiliated and were loaned here, how important were they for that first team to really, and you mentioned earlier that uh, you, you were kind of put behind the eight ball when you got hired on because you didn't have a whole lot of time to develop your team. How important was having that, of, that relationship and being able to have some of those guys? No, I think it was important and we saw the quality in the players when they came down here. Uh, they're used to the professional environment. Uh, they're not coming down here with any cocky attitude. They're humble guys, hardworking guys. They know they have a job to do down here as well. You know, because you're a sporting Kansas City player doesn't mean that your guarantee started with Oklahoma City. You know, you've got to come in and do your job and deserve your spot. And they did it. The sporting relationship now with Fluminense FC, with the, the Brazilian team, how does that impact your roster here? I know there's an agreement where at least one of their players is, is here and, and can help fill out your roster as well. I think it's huge for us. You know, we can get a little bit of different players. You know, you don't want 11 of the same players on the field. You want a little technical, you want some hardcore players, you want some guys who can go up and down the line for, for 90 minutes. You need that combination in your team. It's just getting 11 guys plus the subs on the same page. And that's going to be my job to do that. When you, when you look back on your transition from playing to coaching, is it, is it a little easier working kind of for the same affiliate and having the same common goal that you've played there and working these players to get there? Yeah, well, I had the, the chat with, uh, with Peter Vermees, the head coach from, from Kansas City a few times, you know. I told him about my ideas, how I wanted to play, and that's very similar to how Kansas City want to play. And that's make it even easier with the affiliation. We are playing the same way as you can call them the, the big brothers. And I think they have been more open to let people uh, players come down for one or two games than maybe call them back. But again, we got to find the right balance. You have guys here that work so hard day in and day out. So those guys from Kansas City, again, they got to deserve the spot when they get here. It's not granted they'll get the spots.